Did you know that you can perform both simple and advanced calculations within your form utilizing our form calculation widget? Well, let me show you how. Hey, JetFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the Form Calculations Features landing page, and we're gonna cover a few of these things on how to utilize our Form Calculation widget. Now, be sure to come back to this Features landing page because we're gonna cover a couple of these things, but when it comes to those advanced mathematical operations, you're definitely going to want to utilize this user guide right here for all of the additional information. So let's go ahead and jump over into my JotForm dashboard. Now for this example, let's go ahead and create a brand new form. So in the top left hand corner, we'll do create form and we'll start from scratch on the classic form. And the great thing with form calculation is you can utilize it a bunch of different ways. So for this example, let's go ahead and get rid of this header and let's bring in the single choice option. Perfect. And for this example, let's say that we're giving someone the option to purchase either a shirt, a hat, or a pair of shoes. We can edit those types here. So shirt, hat, and shoes. And we can get rid of that fourth option. Now, if we come over to our properties, we can head over to the options and we can turn on calculation values. And here is where we can put in the price of each one of these items. So let's say the shirt is $10, the hat is eight, and the shoes are 15. Perfect. Next, we need to grab our number field and we'll put that right below here. And this is going to be how many of them do they want? And now we can head up to our widgets and right here at the very top, we have form calculations. Now, if for any reason it isn't, we can always utilize the search option for form calculation. We'll bring that right down here. And we're gonna change this to be the total. Now, if we head over to our widget settings, this is where we can do that calculation. Now, for this example, because we're utilizing that clothing choice with the calculation values on, we're going to want to add that as a field. So we're going to add the field, then we're gonna do the clothing choice, then we're gonna do times the quantity, perfect. And that's going to give us our total. So let's go ahead and preview and see what this is going to look like. So let's do the shirt. And let's say we want two shirts. We can see now that the price is $20 because the shirt was 10. Now let's say we wanted shoes, it was 15. We can see it is now 30. So that's one way that you can utilize form calculations. But if we choose that total field for our form calculations and we open up the widget settings again, you can see that you can do pretty much anything that a normal calculator would do. And right down here, we see the different options. So we have string, number, and field. So if we just need to add specific numbers, all of those numbers are going to be that dark gray color. If we need to add a field, it's going to be that blue. And then if we're going to do a string, which is going to be the more advanced math equation. So let's just say like for an average, we can see that that is now that tan color. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize our form calculation widget, let us know down in the comments. And don't forget to check out that features landing page for even more information, especially those more advanced mathematical equations. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.